what that's looking like. Yeah, so it looks like right now... Oh, okay, so from... I mean, unless this is like not updated, it does show that their set count is 2-2. Two and two. Interesting. So they have an even set count as of today. Right. We'll have to see who's going to be breaking that tie as we get right into game one of Winner's Quarters on the other side. Right, and we're going to be, be seeing Storm, Storm opting right for the Ken, skipping over the Mario. Right, so whatever data or whatever knowledge he's gathered from this... Uh, Matchup seems to be figuring that Ken is the move, but meanwhile Frost is um, definitely establishing himself in the lead right now. Planning a solid near and F smash for 114, but a solid string from Scarm is going to be making attempts at tying up the game. But Jarrett Ledge is taking the first stock here in favor of Frost. I think Ken struggles with swords and rushdown. I yeah, I, I, I think, think so, so too. I think so too, but I feel like. With the set count being 2-2, two and two, I feel like Skarm wouldn't be making a character pick that doesn't work. Or that he doesn't ah! feel right. So... What was that? I don't know, man. Oh my goodness, goes for... Right. There we go, we got the DP. Dude. Yeah, there, there is all to, kinds of weird smash. Right the Frost, yikes. How far in this dude's head is he? Here, there's just a whole nother, uh, okay. a whole nother something coming out of Frost right now. It's different. Frost is, uh... And you know what? We, we actually... Game. Yeah, we, we watch Frost play quite a bit. Ends up on stream pretty often, but, like, this is, uh... Quite the show, even in this first match so far. Oh, yeah. I mean, very high performance so far with the show. And there it is, the uh, Ether getting a lot of percent on the board. I think a back air might kill uh, at this point, maybe even a side beam. But if you hit the shield, you will get the punish. Oh, nice focus through the F tilt. Oh, yeah. But the down tilt is going to beat it out at the end. Okay. I like what Skarm's going for here. I like it too. Kind of, you know, rocking that shield, playing defensively, mm. uh, you know, getting chip damage where they can. Yeah. Taking it at a slower pace against the, uh, you know, oppressive gameplay of uh, Frost Strong. Tries to go for the uh -oh. focus, but yeah, that's gonna get punished. But not very much. Oh, there's the FW mm. Yeah. yeah. Wants to run it back. Talk about and, how uh, that Epsil is essentially just a punch in the face if you're close enough. <laughs> yeah. Spe especially with, uh, for Roy. With the blunt of the sword. Yeah. Like, look. Doink. Nice. That's one punch. I feel like, right yeah, there. I feel like there should be a sour spot there. Right? Yeah. Look, can know. we talk about how Roy uh, Eftil is a punch stronger than anything Ken can do? Yeah. That's definitely like, true. Go! Come on, man. Be better. Be better. So we see Storm starting off again. Not able to uh, find a way to punish that up because it goes right to the ledge. But... Right. It goes straight for it. I really like that Skarm is uh, spacing around these uppies a lot better um, and, you know, avoiding them until they hit the deck so they can potentially get a punish or put himself in a good position uh, to punish the option afterwards. Right, exactly. <laughs> yeah, look. Uh-oh. Nice oh, parry into the DP. Yeah. Not gonna kill though, good DI. Yeah, excellent DI from Frost. But, How did Scar yes. get up there? Scar, I mean, I don't know, that's what I'm saying, because I'm like, you know, you would think that Shadows would not be good against Sorties, and you'd be, like, right for thinking that, but... I don't know, this seems to be a confident pick for Scar, even despite losing the first game. Uh, it's just to be going pretty confidently in, but only to be met with that, jab into head smash. Uh, the, the Jeff Smash. The Jeff Smash is absolutely correct. 
There you go. Solid finisher from Scarm. And now we got our tied stop count, but... Hmm, I don't know. Frost still seems to be pulling out in front. Like, pretty consistent. What do you think? Uh, I have to agree, considering what's on the screen in front of me right now. But I think it's the uh, the mentality of Scarm right now. Uh, or, sorry, the mentality rather of Frost. Because they're kind of never say die, hold forward at all times. And, right. uh... What the heck kind of a reversal was that? Maybe to their detriment, actually. What makes you think that? Well, I mean, they went to they got two levels off the upbeat off stage. Oh, you mean like yeah, uh go Zelda's off stage. Yeah, but that was a that was a good response from Scott. It was. Catching the catching the ether uh when it wasn't in super army. Yes, but nice a couple down tilts. Oh, nice. Up to four throw. Oh, good catch. He's dead. Oh, yeah. It's a solid Bro! Right at, right at 420! Did it really? Yeah, it was perfectly on 420. In the timing? That's, that's hype. Look, Wait, look here we go. This. Oh, yeah, it's counting down. Yeah, Five, four. hey. Three, Scarm two, blazing it up four. right at 420. There you go. 420, blaze it. Beautiful. Nice <laughs> That's so dope. You know, I think I think Scarm was born under a pretty good sign. Yeah, I'm kinda uh -oh. I'm kinda seeing that too. How was this stage not instantly banned? I right, mean Mario. Yeah. Good morning from now now. I don't like I... this stage against Troy. I gotta be real with you. I think this is Probably the character who benefits the most from the stage the entire two, video game. Or so the Paolo Ivysaur. Uh, anyone else. I, I swear to god, these two characters really get a lot of use off this stage. That's right. And I mean, we'll, we'll probably be seeing that, but I mean, I feel like Storm has made a good decision in responding to said uh, comment about Town and City and just making a switch to a character that also works. I wouldn't say to the same extent that Common Warriors just get like so much off of this, but yeah. uh, Ma Mario can do some stuff on the stage too. But I have no idea how Mario is so good on the stage, considering it's essentially FD for the most part, and it sits so low that like you rarely get kills off the top. Right, right. I mean, rarely did so early anyway. But that is not stopping Storm from uh, keeping a very strong lead. Oh, good down till almost. Wow, okay. Go, goes to the jab a couple more times and ends up getting it. So good yep. job on Frost for getting it. Uh, just, you know, sticking to it just a little bit longer. Oh, oh and the nice. Yeah. Wrong back, back in. Straight through. Straight through the firewall. Anyway. Yikes, dude. <laughs> And again, we usually see Scarm go off to a very strong start in these games, and then Frost takes the first stock anyway. Right. Next couple of combos, back row will kill. But, I mean, this is still a very, very big predicament here for Frost, or excuse me, for uh, Scarm. But hey, definitely not stopping them from fighting out of the quarter. Look at yeah, this! Oh Whoa! my god! He was falling over the four damage. That flood was so close to landing too, that would have finished it off. Yeah. That definitely would have finished it off. That was one of the coolest extensions I've ever seen. Like, if I was Frost, I would have just held down. I would have just said, you got that though. I no. But yeah, Storm, uh Scarm's opponent looking more so for the victory rather than his opponent getting a cool kill. The, the anti homie, but hey, you gotta do what you gotta do to win. Good job blocking the four tool, though. That's definitely be giving Scarm a little bit of trouble regardless of the character pick, but yeah, they're falling up smash. Yep. Closing out the second stock. 
this is starting to look strong favor, but I mean that percentage is definitely at a point to where that could not last for long. If we get even right here at the right spot. Yeah, super close to killing. Uh, if it was a little closer to the edge of the uh, stage, it would have. But uh, Thorn's positioning was good there, but not quite so much there as they get Jack Air yet again. And this is a good position for uh, Frost to be in, especially playing with a an swordy. Mario hates swords, by the way, just in case you didn't know that. Right. But, you know, I think one good combo from Skarm will put them definitively in the lead, but not, not out of the woods yet. Oh, nice. Nice oh, operator to get out yeah, of there. Yeah, there it is. Jab. Not gonna kill. For, yeah, but bringing a solid 100%, which is definitely Back a good result for Skarm. Back to in fact, yup. That's what I'm saying. I'm and like, I didn't Skarm. expect that uh, screen to take the stock, but just getting up to that percent to where uh, Skarm was able